chef who is still in high school. That's right, Chef Nikita is here with one of her recipes. And I love it because today you kind of have a, a twist on a classic. Yes, um, it's like a Middle Eastern style dish, um, but it's my twist on it because it's a bit more simpler and easy for kids and teens to cook. Yeah, I love it. Where are we yeah. starting? Okay, so first we're gonna start with marinating the chicken. Um, this is a chicken shawarma. So chicken shawarma, essentially what it is, it's like a roasted Middle Eastern style dish. Um, or So today we're using chicken. Um, here I have a mixture of chili powder, uh, cumin, and a little bit of coriander powder. Okay. These are very aromatic spices that are used in Middle Eastern cooking and as well as Indian cooking. So I'm really used to with used to these uh, yeah, spices it right here. Yeah, really it, good. Yeah, can you smell the spices? And I like that you're doing kind of the twist to make it easier, not just yeah. kids or teens, but right. for adults too who maybe might get intimidated exactly. by Middle Eastern cooking right. but want to try it. Yeah, it's really all about the spices because they're so mm -hmm. uh, strong. You really need nothing else other than these spices. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper and then a little bit of garlic. Of course you need garlic in everything. And now we're going to use this the chicken. chicken. Just pop it in. And it's just a really thinly sliced chicken just so it cooks faster on the grill. You can of course, now, did you pound that out and tenderize it? Um, just a little bit, um, just because I still want to keep the texture. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to take, take it too thin. Okay, so you would marinate this for about um, 10 minutes um, on the counter or 30 minutes That's on the it. fridge. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of let it sit. Yes. And then once it's done. And now you take the chicken breast and then place it on the grill. You can use the outside grill, which is my suggestion, just because it's outside. I mean, getting outside and cooking with family is always fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm but just it's hot right now, so exactly. you're in the middle of the day, right. you can do it inside. So you want to grill it for about five minutes on each side or until it's completely cooked or until okay. the juices run clear. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to have you get started on the garlic sauce. All it is is a fourth cup of mayonnaise, sour okay. cream, and a little bit of, little bit of garlic. Okay, and so we have mayonnaise. Sour yes. cream, and then you have some garlic and and then a little bit of lemon juice, just so you can get the tang. Like a little spoonful. Yes. Okay. So um, traditionally, I'll pour the whole thing. Um, <laughs> traditionally, um, the garlic sauce in the Middle East is usually cooked with um, egg whites, but since we're trying to make it a bit easier, we're just using beef. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. So Very easy. once that is finished, we're just gonna put it on one side. Here I have grilled um, zucchini, mm -hmm. and of course you can use any ingredients that you have on hand. Zucchini was fresh, so I used zucchini today. Did you put any, you're just spreading this on, right? Yes. Okay. And did you put anything on the zucchini? I just put a little bit of salt and pepper and grilled it on both sides for about two minutes or until you can see the char. And then once the chicken is grilled, I just slice it up, let it cool, and this is what it looks like afterwards. So like I said, you can use any type of ingredients that you like. Um, you can also use um, onions. I love onions on this. And these what are, else do you like? These are Persian style pickles. Mm -hmm. uh, these are just a bit different just because they have a little, a little bit of more garlic. So that's why I love using these, just because you get a little bit of extra taste. Excellent. And then this is the final yes. product right here. You see it right there. And that side looks really good too. Well, we're going to make that coming up, so stay tuned. now. We have this recipe on arizonamidday.azcentral.com, but of course you can also find this recipe and lots of others online by going to facebook.com slash chef Nikita B or go to tastyhealthydishes.blogspot.com. And again, she will be back later with another dish. So stay tuned. With a simple and refreshing side dish you can make tonight. Earlier we made you a Middle Eastern panini that was super easy. Now we're making a great side dish. Chef Nikita is here and she's going to show us how to do it. Good to see ya. Yeah. All right, we made a really delicious sandwich and now you have kind of like another side Middle Eastern yes. dish. And it's it, really easy. Yes, and it really complements the dish that we made a little while ago. Okay. So let's, let's talk about the parsley first. This is a Middle Eastern style parsley. This isn't the Italian parsley that you might use often. Um, so I just... What makes it different? Um, the taste is a bit more subtle, I want to say, um, compared to the Italian parsley. 
So it's really awesome to use it in this recipe because we're using it as like a base okay. instead of like lettuce or something. And you said that this is a, a couple of specialties. Yes, um, yes. Um, Lili's, you can find that in Mesa, and that's a huge oriental market, and also Asiana, which is in North Phoenix. Okay, so you can find that there as well. So I just took that and then I chopped it up really finely. So we're just going to add that to the bowl. And in the bowl, I also have a tablespoon of olive oil. So we're going to take that. We're going to take Persian style cucumbers, again, staying with close to the Middle Eastern theme. So I just quartered that. A um, little bit of tomato. And I'm also using cooked cuckoos, the couscous. Um, usually in Middle Eastern style cooking, there's a different type of wheat that they use. Um, but because this is more common and found in, I'm going to Right, so I just use this instead. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of green onion. These are, ingredients are very fresh as well, so that's why it's Yeah, it looks very right. refreshing for summer too. Yeah, so and also, like I said, it really complements that dish that we made. I just added a little bit of mint, a little bit of salt. Mint? That's not uh, changing. And it's just little bits, but right. it still makes a big difference. And a little bit of lemon juice. I use a little bit more lemon juice just because I really like the tang. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to mix that up. And by the way, this recipe is on our website, arizonaimidday.azcentral.com. Yes. And I would have this uh, cool in the fridge just so the ingredients and um, taste kind of melt together. It tastes better. How long do you keep it in the fridge? Um, just about 20 minutes, just until it chills. And this is the final result yes. that you have right up front here. It looks great with the sandwich. Yes. Um, and you know, you started, you know, cooking and baking and doing things. Um, when you were very young, yes, and I actually started the club at your yes, high school. Yes, I did. Um, my high school, Desert Vista High School, We I started a cooking and nutrition club about last or two years ago. Uh -huh. And we take recipes and revive them to make them healthier for kids and teens. Just because I believe that it's so important for kids and teens to learn um, cooking. So when we go off to college, it's easier for us to learn. Um, so you're not eating yeah, fast food outside. And, exactly. Yeah, so, and tacos. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a healthier option and really easy for kids. Teams. That's what I'm really trying to aim and promote. Yeah, and this is a really easy yeah. recipe, and that's what you focus on. And if you go online, you have tons of recipes. Yes, on my Facebook page and also my blog. All right, you so, can just look them up. Yes, lots, um, of recipes. lots of recipes on my blog. Um, it's uh, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Chef Nikita B. All right, very good. And you see it right there, facebook.com slash Chef Nikita B, or go to tastyhealthydishes.blogspot.com.